Hello. For this ProRay Studio software video, we are going to be working with a multi-array unit. And we are going to see in how to view its data and also how to change its settings within the software. I'll post a link on the video description down below on where you can download the ProRay Studio software. Once you have ProRay Studio installed, go ahead and run the application. It's going to ask you for the login account level. Let's go ahead and choose administrator. The default password is lowercase ray. Once we're logged in, go ahead and make sure your guest monitor is turned on and connected to your PC. As you can see from the video demonstration, if you keep going to the right on your guest monitor, you will see a communication mode option. From there, go ahead and select PC communication. From there, let's go back to the ProRay Studio. Click on the auto detect button. Your guest monitor should be showing up. You can always click on refresh if nothing is appearing. Let's go ahead and click on it and select the unit. And now you should have a couple of options to the left. If we click on setup, it will start to download the current settings in your gas monitor. From the top, if you select the multi-ray, it will give you a complete rundown on all the settings. If you go to alarm information, we have alarm type settings, auto reset or latch. So let's say if your unit goes into alarm and then stabilizes to a normal reading, then alarm should restore itself when auto reset is enabled. When latch is selected, then the alarm will continue to sound until it's acknowledged by a button press. To our right, we have the alarm action with the cast monitor concerning the internal buzzer and lights. Do you want to set it with lights only or buzzer only? You have those options. For the clock information, I'll usually just enable the sync with PC to match the time seen on your computer. We have settings to change the date format and the time format as well. We also have a runtime option that will keep a record of how much time you have had your gas monitor running since powering it up. The LCD contrast level can also be configured to your liking. The LCD flip option will flip your screen, which is normally enabled to make it easier to glance for readings when wearing a gas monitor with a safety harness. You can also change the temperature units. The startup mode. For the startup mode option, you have either fast or normal, depending on how much information you want to see when powering up your unit. For pump information, you can change the pump speed, either low or high. For site ID and user ID, you can assign a specific account number to your guest monitor to easily identify the unit when dealing with records and events. The user mode feature will limit on how much information you can view or change in your guest monitor. An example on the limitation of the user by choosing basic is the user will not be able to perform manual calibrations. There's a language option and password access for the settings. Zero at start, the backlight option as well. The man down feature when enabled will detect any rash movements with its built-in accelerometer and notify the user when he's down. If you don't acknowledge the man down in a number of seconds, it will go into alarm and send a signal if you are set up in a network. Comfort beep will give up an audible indicator that the gas monitor is operational. In operation mode, you have either search mode or hygiene mode enabled. By default, you will have hygiene mode enabled, and it will start to give a live reading when powered up. In search mode, you will have to enter that specific mode in order to get a sample gas reading.
For policy enforcement, you can enable to either force a bump or calibration on the unit when the program time interval has reached its deadline. Next, we have the glance mode option, allowing us to modify what information is displayed on the screen. Under the data log options, in data selection, you can choose what information you want to keep a record of. For log mode, we are telling the gas monitor when to start keeping record. And for log intervals, we can adjust the frequency rate of recording data. Here it's set for the default 60 seconds. Under gas information, we start off with the gas library information for your LEL and PID sensors. We also have a section to add custom gases and their correction factors. Under sensor information, you can go to each individual sensor. You can go ahead and change the settings like the span value for calibrating your sensor. We have the low and high alarm set points. The steel and TWA can be modified as well. You can set the cal intervals for the calibration frequency of your unit. You can also set the number of days for your next bump test. Here we have the multi-gas calibration option, which can only be done if you are working with a multi-cal gas bottle, like the quad gas bottles that we offer for O2, CL, LEL, and H2S. Once you're done with the changes in the Purvey Studio software, you will have to select Upload All. And that will update your settings on your gas monitor. Now let's move on to the data log section. Let's go ahead and download all the logs from the gas monitor. Once finished, you'll be able to see a long list of recorded logs. For each log, it comes with a complete summary that contains useful information like the gas readings for each of your sensors, the unit information, and the last calibration done to the unit, and so on. You can modify the view to show a more of a graphic or table format of your reports. And you also have the option to export the data. Moving on to reports, we will need to download the data first from your gas monitor. Once complete, it will give you a long list of previous calibrations, by selecting one, you will have a full detailed description on your results. You will also be able to export this data and view it on an Excel spreadsheet, for example. In the firmware section, you will be able to see the current firmware version that's installed on your gas monitor, and you can always update the firmware through this section. In some cases, like the multi-ray units, you will have to update both the sensor and the gas monitor application. In the last option here on the left side, we have tools, which you can always upload a pre-configured setting file to your gas monitor. And that will be it for this video on the ProRay Studio software.